So hi everyone, I am Debbie Picard. I am the new principal of St. Michael's High School. I started here in June of last year and I'm very excited to be the new principal of an amazing school. Hi, uh, my name is Lynn Byzantine. I'm the secretary at St. Michael's High School. I'm also the coordinator for St. Michael's High School's a Community Learning Centre. St. Michael's has been involved in my life for a long time. I taught at St. Michael's about 18 or 19 years ago for a year, uh, and I loved it. I taught a grade three, four, five class and a high school religion. I also am a uh, resident of Lowe, so I live in the community and I believe very strongly in the school and I was part of, I went to all of the meetings uh, to keep the school open. Um, it has a, a near and dear part to my heart and I, I it's like coming home being principal here. Uh, St. Michael's kind of is my life <laughs> because I love the school so much and, and it's not the school it's the people in it especially the students. Um, I feel like as the secretary my job is to help every student graduate. That's, that, that's the job of every staff member at this building and um, I've been involved with St. Michael's since 1993 and uh, I just absolutely love this place. It's more of a family to me now than a uh, place where work very proud when the uh, phone call came through from a parent to ask if we had heard the great news about us being the number one academic school in the Utah web. Um, I was very touched and, and excited and I made an announcement to the school and when I did so up and down the hallways there were roars and cheers and claps and uh, many of us in the office had a, a tear rolling down our face because we are so proud of the students. Mr. Cavers worked very, very hard over the last five years as principal of St. Michael's to ensure that students were getting the very best academic um, teaching that they could and learning. And I think that he did an amazing job. Our teachers work very, very hard uh, to connect with the students and to make sure that uh, the students are all achieving their personal best. And I think this, for all of these reasons, um, that's why our, our school is, uh, is number one. I think we live highlights and achievements very often almost every day at the school. It can be as small as someone being very successful, it can be someone on stage downstairs, it can be our carpentry class building their first um, birdhouse or whatever it is, but we also have many uh, exciting things like tournaments, uh, we've gone to basketball tournaments, soccer tournaments, we hosted a soccer tournament. Last week we were in Manawaki at a um, a hockey tournament. Uh, this school celebrates success and I think we do it very well and we celebrate it as a, as a team. We're like a big family in the school. I'm so proud I'm making other people sick of listening to me because I can't stop talking about it. Because It's the students here. It's the students and the staff that made this place such an amazing school. And this hasn't come easily to us. This is something we've been working on for about 20 years. So it's something that at long, long last, we are a part of it. And we are only part of the Fraser Institute report this year because we had more than 10 grade 11 students. If you have less than 10 grade 11 students, you are not part of the Fraser report. So I feel this year we only have six grade 11s, but we're going to graduate them all and we're still number one, whether we qualify to be a part of the Fraser Institute report or not. Uh, my children started attending, uh, started St. Michael's High School in 1993. At that point in time, I became the governing, I, I was part of the governing board of St. Michael's in 1993, and our academic standing at that time, strictly involved with the English high schools in Quebec, St. Michael's was 93 out of 94, academically speaking, in 1993. So you can see that um, we've come a long way, baby. And my children graduated from St. Michael's, and they're, they're all self-employed, working and supporting themselves now. They love this school, uh, they, they talk about it fondly, and they're, they're cheering for us as much as I do.